I want to show you a very quick demo of how you can use Inlets Pro to proxy and tunnel any TCP traffic that you like. In this example, I'm currently logged into my Mac Mini. You see the top left, um, I've got a blank terminal, I've got a Python server running on localhost, and then I have an Intel NUC with a different IP address. And the IP address, my local machine, let's see if we connect, we can see the listing coming up. The IP of my other computer is 35 on the network and it's giving a connection refuse. Now what I want to do is I want to forward this to that machine. Now this is on my local network so that it's super fast and simple, easy to understand, but we could set up a cloud host or a Kubernetes cluster and run that remote service, the inlets server over there. Now, the first thing that we would like, that we'd need to do is go ahead and download the inlets process. Okay, and this has got the client and server in it. You do not need to use sudo if you do not want to. It just puts it in the right place for you after downloading the package. And we can see we've now got it on both computers. Over on the server, what I can now do is inlet CTL download pro. Again, if I use sudo, the binary gets put in the right place, so we might as well, otherwise you're free to move it afterwards. And we can see now that we've got it on both machines. So to start with, let's look at the server. The server configures TLS automatically. It sets up its own authority, it will create a certificate and the client will then download that public key. You don't have to use that, but it's actually a, a bit more convenient doing things that way. We also can set uh, an auth token because um, we don't really want things to be wide open. And we need a common name if we're gonna use this automatic TLS. This is for the certificate. The last thing we need is this remote TCP, and this is like the upstream address. So when a connection is made, where does it go on the client's network? Um, and it's actually just gonna go to, to localhost, because that's where we're running this server. Now, if I was actually running that on a Raspberry Pi that I could see from here, I would put in the name of the Raspberry Pi or whatever there instead. Okay, now we need to run inlets pro client and provide a license. I actually have a, a file for this already. Uh, what else do we need? We need the connection address. So this is over a WebSocket that's got TLS. So we need to decorate it with the W S, S instead of WS. Um, and then we need to specify what TCP ports we want to expose from our computer on the remote side, which is just 8,000 at this point. If you're doing a reverse proxy, it'd be 18443. Now we also need the auth token. And we can see we're connected. Let's split the window again and try to curl the remote server. And there we go, it's working. And just to prove it, we can um, just create a simple file there, run the server up again, and we can see that whether we go to our local computer directly, or we go to the remote IP, we're hitting the same service, and that's TCP level forwarding. What we can also do is we can also forward something like SSH. So if I have a bunch of machines behind a network, I can punch out all of their different SSH ports. Um, I can do a database. As I said earlier, we could do Nginx or Caddy and then actually do termination of that TLS connection inside the cluster. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this. Um, Today, we just set up a simple exit server by using a computer I already had on my local network. 
But what I'd suggest you do is maybe have a look at some of the tooling in Let's CTL itself. You can actually go and create cloud hosts and call them exit servers on a bunch of different um, infrastructure providers. Automates installation of the server, gets everything ready for you, and you just have a connection string at the end. So go and have a look at it. I hope you like it. Play with it. Give us feedback. And if you want to find out more, head over to inlets.dev.